So I'm here with Eric Kopit from Celestron, and he's going to be telling us all about a new product called the StarSense Auto Guider. Now, StarSense is something that is not new. What makes the Auto Guider different, and how is it revolutionary? Well, so we had a product that came out maybe like seven years ago that was called StarSense Auto Align. And uh, what that did is it made telescope alignment automated so that basically people that were intimidated or didn't understand the process of telescope alignment could essentially hit one button and it would take care of it for you. Now when we launched that, we knew that there was still more we could do with that concept and that idea, um, which fits into our bigger concept of just making things more fun and easy. So one of the, one of the main, you know, what are some of the challenges that people get as they move on? We talked about automatic alignment, um, but as you move on in the hobby, a lot of people get into imaging. And right. then they run into a, an issue with what's called auto guiding, which makes your mount track well enough, essentially, so that you can take really long exposure images and see detail in deep sky objects. Yes, exactly. So, so previously, auto guiding, uh, it, it, you know, even to this day, can require a lot of some additional equipment, uh, which you have to learn about, can you know, have some complexity. Frustration. Frustration, uh, a learning curve. Definitely. And then there's external software involved where you have to learn the software and figure out what software you need and all this. And we said, you know, it, it doesn't have to be like that. So for Celestron mounts, essentially, um, you press one button and it, it auto guides. So right. it, it's almost like magic the way it works. You literally, when you're ready to start an image, you select guiding and it's, it calibrates itself and it uses all the stars in the field of view and provides extremely accurate guiding. Um, but so that was really the main, the main thrust of the development is to add auto guiding to the auto line. And we achieved that and it was great, but we realized, wait, there's, there's even more we can do. So because we had essentially an eye and a brain already on the telescope, we realized that we could also use that to enhance the telescope's native pointing accuracy. So the telescope's pointing model is quite accurate but across the whole sky, it might not be perfectly accurate where it places things exactly in the center of the field of view. So after the telescope goes to an object, the StarSense auto align automatically, nothing to do, looks out at the sky, sit, figures out where it is, and can add a slight correction to make sure that you're very center, precisely centered in the field of view automatically. So essentially, it enhances the pointing accuracy of your mount across the entire sky with no, nothing the user has to do, nothing to turn on, it just does that. Um, in addition, we know because we had a brain and an eye, we knew that that could help us identify where the, how to align the mount for polar alignment. Excellent. Now, one thing that's cool is the, the auto alignment, the auto guiding, and the enhanced pointing accuracy, none of that requires an accurate polar alignment. And it works with both EQ and AZ mounts. However, if you do polar align, you get the highest level of accuracy that you can get regarding centering. Um, so for our less experienced users, you said an EQ and an AZ mount? What's yes. the difference? An EQ is an equatorial mount, like the one that you're seeing here, which can be aligned to track the night sky along one axis. Um, an altazimuth mount is a simpler mount, more of a up, down, left, right uh, mount, which is very easy to use but can cause what's called field rotation over long exposure images. So, so in other words, many of the other Celestron mounts uh, that are more for visual observation could be almost used now to do astrophotography? Is that absolutely, what I'm absolutely. So not only does it enhance your, EQ, your equatorial mount, but if you have just a simple altazimuth mount, maybe such as something like our uh, SE, it still does everything the same. So it'll it provide the automatic alignment um, enhanced pointing accuracy, and yes, it'll accurately guide your AZ mount accurately enough to take images knowing that there will be field rotation right. for longer exposures due to altazimuth tracking, nothing because of the equipment. So but it's a great way to get started. You have the beautiful auto guiding technology. It's literally a push of a button. Uh, I don't know, but this is one of the most amazing things for someone who has been into astrophotography now for six years. I still have lost nights where something doesn't work and to be able to push a button and have it just get started, that sounds pretty good to me. Yeah, we're really happy the way it's come out. We've been, I've been testing this thing for, oh God, I might say years at this point. Uh, and we've, we have a, a pretty wide network of beta testers, high level imagers, that have been blown away by the results that how easy it can be um, when it's very well integrated with the mount. 
Uh, so it was, it was actually a really fun project to work on. Uh, wh what we actually started with was the optics. Um, so it's, it's a proprietary Celestron optical design uh, where we were able to call up a friend of mine in Celestron's, Mark Ackerman, who's a famed optical designer, and let him know what we were trying to do. And he came up with a custom four element lens design Excellent. that is sharper than anything on the market. The same Ackerman from our Rasa design here behind exactly, us. Exactly, exactly. So he's multi-talented and helps us in many ways. But it, personally, I really love the optical design side of things. So that was a really fun way to kick it off. Then obviously we had to get into the electronics design, which has uh, an embedded computer, which is very powerful, it turns out. And it's a, a very interesting unit that we have embedded within the StarSense AutoGuider. And of course, when it came time to choose a sensor, it's a no-brainer to go with the sensitive CMOS uh, sensors from that, Sony. Which could not be more important today that we have these new CMOS sensors that they have opened up astronomy to the masses. We've got an opportunity here with these new auto-guiding technologies to provide the beginners with a new way to get started with astrophotography, but also the advanced imagers who want the simplicity of the full-featured StarSense functionality. We're trying to make it fun and easy for everyone. Exactly. Trying to make it easy for beginners to, to get going and get great results quickly, but also make it more fun and easy for people that have already been doing it so they can enjoy their passion even more and have more fun. Well, thank you so much, Eric. This hey, is a thanks. great product. I know there's been a lot of interest here at NEEF. So I know many people were not able to make it to Neef, but you definitely need to check out the StarSense Auto Guider. It's a great new product from Celestron, and you are going to enjoy this. Once again, if you're a new astrophotographer, a visual astronomer who just wants to be able to find things in the night sky, or if you're an advanced astrophotographer who wants to simplify your functions of your existing rig.